Hello everyone, this is a video about this Panasonic RQ V520 uh, Walkman that is radio and uh, cassette player. This is the box that it comes with, but it's not absolutely original. The content is not absolutely original, but uh, is is very good this is what it is a stereo radio cassette player rqv520 and it's digital synthesizer tuner multifunction remote control extra bass system dolby system and 18 preset stations and I show you all around it. On the top is nothing special. On the back, it just says the Panasonic's RQV520, a stereo radio cassette player, Matsushi, Electronic Industrial Co. Limited, Osaka, Japan, made in Japan and so on and at the bottom it just says the same on the side it says the same so i get everything out of the box and we are going to talk more so because there is not much in the box i just get everything here out and nothing is in the box so this is very special because it's rather old, this unit came out in between 80 and 85. So I have already uh, installed the battery in there. So I just put this aside. The headphone is not original, uh, is a Sony and this uh, sony headphone is mdr let me just see 101 if you can see and this headphone in itself is about uh, 40 quid itself because it's very rare and these pads are brand new so uh, don't think that they are used and then we come to the remote control because they are really rare this remote control uh, of Panasonic is unused and is brand new as you see there is nothing whatsoever on this uh, remote control and these are very rare remote controls because uh, they have this uh, attachment that it comes to contact with the headphone jack i show you later on okay i can show you right now this one the surrounding of this that is very rare and then these are all the functions of this remote control inline remote control headphone that it says it has the volume playback and it has a single button at the top and that single button if you press it continuously is direction or radio on and off play stop is just press of a momentarily and memory select and if you press it twice is a skip reverse and band radio bands fm and am and uh, rewind play three times so these are all functionality of this very rare 
headphone, inline remote control headphone, and nothing else is in there. So I put this aside as well. And then this unit comes with a warranty and a user manual that is very, very rare. So this one is uh, for V460 and V520. So V520, it has a Dolby and this one doesn't have the Dolby. And that's really it. Uh, amongst other stuff that uh, V460 doesn't have. So I put also this one aside and then in the warranty and so on and here is the item itself let me just get a tape and I come back I've got a tape here a tape that I'm using most of the time and uh, it uh, let's talk about this and then i put the tape inside so these four they uh, are for the radio this one is for radio on and off and on is just the press of a button it comes on and then if you press it again it goes to fm or am and then if you hold it continuously it just goes off and these are the three uh, preset buttons that is going to allow you to have 18 preset radio channels uh, radio memory channels and this is the face of it and the, the buttons let me just show you here it's just you have play, direction, memory select, and memory scan, a stop memory, a stop and memory, fast forward and tuning plus, review and tuning minus. So these are the front of it. This item is nearly in mint condition, but I'm going to tell you what is actually wrong with all of these old uh, Walkmans. So uh, it takes two AA batteries in here. I'll show you later on. And it has a wall uh, adapter jack here for center negative. You have to be very careful about this. This is center negative because most of the recent ones, if you buy them, they are center positive anyhow. So this is it. And then we have the hold button here and we have a stereo and mono or reverse mode or continuous playing mode. And on the other side, we have the Dolby on off here and the battery operation and the volume and the extra bass sound is on and off and the rest we just have a push here for eject and if i push it it just opens it a little bit and then when you open it this is what you see here this is the head and the pinch rollers and the capstans and all that you see inside here. So now I just put this uh, in here is the head feeder. It means the cassette has to be head first and then you just, as soon as you close it, it the uh, motor it comes to life to get the slack of the tape or uh, get rid of the beginning of the tape and then 
the radio um, I know the radio is just a radio uh, we are just interested about the uh, tape player and uh, this this item is nearly in mint condition apart from the age and two just spots that you can see here and then a little bit of a scratches on here the, the belt had been changed and I have to tell you that the change of belt in this unit is nearly, nearly, um, I mean, is a task. You have to first open it and when you open it, um, it doesn't open properly. So you have to uh, struggle opening it. I have um, uh, pictures that I show you the inside of this. And this unit is really valuable and is uh, from 80s, if you can imagine, this unit is more than 30 years of age and it still is working. So Panasonic, well done to you. But <clears throat> I wanted to explain to some people that they are hoping to buy one of these and then if they service it and change the belt and clean it up, clean the head, cap stands and all of that. Or some people even uh, changing the capacitors inside here as well. It has many of them, I have to tell you. And expect this to perform as perfectly as possible. But unfortunately, the head of these um walkmans because of the age of them uh, they have been deteriorated and rubbed off so much so that a tri tri triple of the sound is nearly uh, hard to, to hear so i'm just telling you if you collect these things by all means go and buy them but if you are trying to collect and play stuff with them, I have to tell you that the forward play of all of these heads, they are rubbed off because, um, excuse my rant, I have to inform you about all of these things that I came across during all these time that I am collecting these Walkmans and you have to be realistic because of the age of these and how they operate. Uh, you have to know that as soon as you put a tape in there, it just automatically plays the forward uh, uh, condition of the tape. And first the forward and then by the end of the forward you uh, maybe you are bored of this tape and change it again and put another tape in there and then another tape it plays in forward so the forward condition of the head always deteriorates more than the reverse one so the reverse is full of uh, triple and, you know, detailed sounds, but the forward is not. I demonstrate it to you now uh, after my rant, and then we are going to talk more. The first, let me show you uh, the pictures of how the inside of this is hell to change the belt. I come back in a moment. I am back here and this is the picture of the inside of this unit. And let me just see if I can find a better picture. Okay, uh, it's better to do it this way. So this is the inside of this unit. And as you see, this is the motor. So before you are doing anything else, you cannot change the tape. So you have four, four soldering points here. One, two, 
three, four, and then you have another one here, three points here, and then you have another one here, and then two more here. And then you have to undone all of these five points of the soldering uh, points, which is the head of the unit, these five points. And then you can lift this by opening three screws, one there, one there, and one here and one there so that is the hell and then before doing that you have to take this disc out to access the underneath this motor to put the uh, belt around it i show you the other pictures that i have taken And this is the picture, uh, it's a little bit blurred. Let me see if I can find, oh, this one is much better. So when you take that disc out, you can see the belt here. And then when you lift the board PCB out, you can see how the belt is going around here. And just here, look, from here goes to one uh, gear here and then go around here and then go up that uh, capstan and then going down here and going up there. So it's really, really difficult to do this. And look how populated this PCB is. I, I, I hope you can imagine my, you know, uh, amazement when I open this. But everything, it works properly, apart from the head. If I could take a fantastic picture of the head, let me just see if I can do it right now, and then I come back. So, I have three images here, if I can show it to you. This is the head, this is the forward, and this is the reverse head. Let me see if I can open it, uh, zoom it more than necessary, although it's a little bit uh, blared up, but you can see the gap in the center, and how defined is this edge for the reverse and this side. And you can see how undefined is here and there and this line in the middle and this line in the middle. So that to just uh, summarize all of this, you can see that the line in the center and how defined is the reverse edges and how undefined is the forward edges. I just maximize it a little bit just to show you. Um, I have to tell you that I have cleaned this head thoroughly, but I wanted to tell you some people, they might think that because they can't hear the proper treble in, this, in the music is because of the, uh, because of the azimuth or alignment of the head. 
But unfortunately, it's because of the head that is not giving you the optimal uh, quality. So let's, let's play something and see how it goes. Let me just first turn down the volume and then we press play. So, just can you see how undefined is this? And this is forward. If you can see that, I don't know if you can. Yeah, okay, we have stopped it now. And then we turn the tape round to listen to the reverse side of the head. The volume was the maximum. So I turn it down and then press the play. And now. Can you see? Can you hear the triple and the bass and everything? But on the other side, we couldn't hear that at all. I just do it quickly once more. Okay, it's just gone to the end. Let's see. All right, listen to this part. Now, quickly, quickly we eject it and turn it other way around and then press play. Can you see the difference? Is all, is not because of the capstan, is not because of the, uh, cleaning of the head or whatsoever is just because the head is deteriorated and the forward position had vanished the edges and fine details of the edges just to show you how uh, define it could be I just do it again and then oh, yeah. can you hear that okay now I just wanted to share with you this point. Some people, they are going to buy these Walkmans and they expect them to work perfectly well. So uh, I'm afraid if someone had been using it continuously, so the forward position of the head had been deteriorated and is spent really and is not going to give you the highest quality of the sound so you're left with the reverse side so whatever that you put in there you have to calculate which one which side is reverse and forward and then press the play that's it anyway this unit is very rare i go to the price point with the headphone, with the understanding that this headphone is very rare and the price of only this headphone is above 40 pounds, English pounds. And this unit is radio and a cassette player and it also it takes two AA batteries. So it's very, very rare in this situation. And if you take this one out, you can put it on the table and use it as a deck, as a cassette deck. 
so it's very convenient uh, look at it and when you open it it just goes like that and then you just open it and change the tape and put it back in and it's very professional anyhow the price of the, this unit is very very expensive this unit goes from 50 pounds not working up to 150 up to 250 pounds in mint condition with all of these boxes and you know user manual and everything else with the headphone so i recommend you to buy this in uh, box position in mint condition for maximum of 150 pound because the head might be spent at the forward position but if it's a non-working position uh, like for repair or uh, spare you just spend maximum of 20 to 50 pounds depending on the condition of the unit anyhow i hope you enjoyed this video and this video gone too long because of my rants i i apologize for that but unfortunately that was absolutely necess necessary and ocd attack anyway i hope again you enjoyed this video until my next video take care of yourself and each other and as always have a great time